Hello, my name is Rebecca Richards and I'm the Junior School Assistant Principal for Curriculum. We have had a terrific start to Term 2. Our campus is abuzz with exciting activities and amazing learning opportunities for our whole community. We are pleased to announce that we will be introducing our parent and helpers starting back in our classrooms later this term. We are placing a big focus on parent supporting reading whilst helping in our classrooms. If you are interested and have time to support our students and classroom teachers, we would love to have you. We do require you to complete your classroom helper course and relevant documentation in order to do this. The course is being held next Thursday afternoon in the pack at 2 p.m. Information will be out on Compass about this shortly. The course will have a huge focus on reading and vocabulary, and we encourage parents who have completed the course in the past to also come along if they are available. In addition to the course, helpers must complete a confidentiality form and working with children's check prior to working in our classroom. Our classroom teachers will be sending out more information about helping in the classroom later this term, so please stay tuned. Last Wednesday, the 5th of May, was our Mother's Day breakfast. It was so lovely to see our families back on campus to help celebrate this special day and thank our wonderful mothers and special women in our lives that do so much for our students. During the last few weeks, we have held our Year 3 and 4 camp information evenings. We are so excited to be able to offer our camping program to our students again this year. Our camps will be held at the end of Term 3. Our Year 3 students will be attending Phillip Island and our Year 4 students will be attending Camp Aspie Downs in Kitan. Our camps provide great opportunities for our students to develop a wide range of social skills that strengthen established friendships and develop new ones. It provides terrific opportunities for our students to take care of themselves and build their independence. Further information will be sent out by the teachers later this term. On Wednesday, we held our foundation information session for prospective families. The junior school leadership team, together with our junior school captain, shared information about our college, foundation programs and structures and transition to school. We answered many questions around transition and starting school. Enrolments for Foundation 2022 have opened and enrolment packs are available from both our kinder and junior school offices. Our Year 3 students completed NAP plan this week. The results from these tests will provide the school with valuable information about how we are working with your child. Our teachers did a terrific job of supporting our students, ensuring they felt positive and confident to reduce any potential anxiety. The NAP plan tests are certainly important, but are only one form of assessment and a snapshot of your child's learning on the day of the test. Next week, Hazel Glen College will participate in National Simultaneous Storytime along with over one million children. This event is held annually by the Australian Library and Information Association. Every year, an Australian picture book is selected to be read simultaneously across the country. It is an exciting event which aims to promote the values of reading and literacy, exploring age appropriate themes and addressing key learning areas. This year's book is Give Me Some Space by Philip Bunting. In keeping with the space theme, this year's book will be even read by a NASA astronaut, Shannon Walker, live from the International Space Station, as well as our own college principal, Mr. Anthony Stockwell. The junior school has been focusing on teaching vocabulary as part of our reading program. Our teachers are explicitly teaching key words to ensure our students develop their understanding and expression of complex ideas. I would now like to introduce to you Dave Roberts, our Year 1 Instructional Leader, and some of our students to talk to you more about this. Vocabulary has been a major focus at Hazel Glen this year. This is because research shows us that vocabulary is a predictor of content area performance. The more extensive a student's vocabulary, the more likely he or she will be academically successful. In years 3 through 12, an average student is likely to learn approximately 3,000 new vocabulary words each year, but can learn double that with specific directed instruction, and as little as 6 to 12 encounters with a new word can reliably improve reading comprehension. Students who have a solid word base get ahead faster and achieve more in school, while those who don't tend to progress more slowly. This means that vocabulary instruction is effective in narrowing the achievement gap. This year in Year 4, the students have been focusing on improving our vocabulary knowledge. During Read to Self, we have been identifying interesting words in our books and then completing vocabulary, 
vocabulary activities to improve our understanding. The teachers created a vocabulary organiser activity on Seesaw. Once we picked our interesting word, we had to research or use a dictionary to find the definition. We recorded the definition in our own words. Then we identified synonyms and antonyms for our word. We also had to put the word into two separate sentences to show our understanding. To complete the activity and have some fun, we were able to draw a picture or include emojis to represent our word. This activity helped the Year 4 students to improve our vocabulary and help us with our reading and writing. There are lots of ways you can support your child's literacy development at home. We encourage students to read 20 minutes five nights a week. For the younger students, that can involve looking through the pictures, predicting what might happen or even having an adult read to them. As long as they are exposed to a text, building their reading stamina and exploring some fantastic literature. Reading should be enjoyable for you and your child. If they become distressed or lose interest when reading, just take a break from reading and try again later. We want you to focus on your child's comprehension just as much as accuracy and decoding when reading. Some comprehension questions are provided on page 14 of the student diary to help facilitate this. You can also extend on our junior school vocabulary focus by finding interesting and descriptive words throughout your child's take home books to spark a conversation. The Victorian Premier's Reading Challenge encourages children and students from birth to year 10 to read a set number of books over the year and record their efforts online. Since the challenge first began in 2005, more than 3 million students have read nearly 51 million books. It's a great way to promote a love for reading and all junior school students are invited to participate. The challenge runs until September and students in Foundation Year 1 and Year 2 need to aim to experience at least 30 books, while students in Years 3 and 4 need to aim to read at least 15 books.